All right, fam, what's happening? Back again, Jay Stinson, and guess what we got on the table? The Low C6 <laughs> Audi R8. We're gonna talk a little bit about what I've done to this baby to bring it up to par with the factory stock original. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about what's going on with this baby right here, I suggest you stick around until after we roll that intro footage. Let's go. Now we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The is yours. <laughs> All right, fam, back again. We got the stock Low C6 Audi R8 sitting in front of us in its stock form, hardly touched, pretty much never ran in the condition that I was able to secure this. And in my opinion, this is probably one of the flyest RCs ever made to date, but it was a shame that it was made in such a limited run. So when they came out, folks jumped on it. A lot of them tore them up, beat them up. ran them to death because they didn't know it was going to be in the wild for a limited time. For whatever reason, I've heard various rumors, lawsuits from Audi, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. Hey, the parts are very difficult to come by now because of the limited run, and a lot of these have been destroyed. So if you can get your hands on one, I suggest you scoop it. So this is not the first one that I was able to secure. This is number two, probably going to be the last that I'll be able to get because they cost uh, way too much right now in the aftermarket. So I'm gonna give you a little video history on what I've done to that vehicle to get it up to its current state, which is gonna be the sister to this one. Let's take a look at the video. All right, fam, you have to agree that from the previous photo and video montage that this baby was in terrible shape. I mean, dirt, grime, rocks, debris, lubricant, oils, whatever was all over the place. So the previous owner didn't take a lot of care of this Losi. So I took it upon myself once I really, cause I had it for about six months. I'm gonna be honest. I sat on it for six months in its previous state. And then one day I said, you know what? It's time to go ahead and give, uh, show this baby a little love. So I did a complete tear down, tore the whole vehicle apart, every screw, every nut, every bolt, ripped it apart, made sure everything was in good working order, put new uh, shock oil in, in all four corners. I didn't touch the springs or the shock bodies cause they were in pretty good condition. And my opinion but to clean everything it was going to be a task and thanks to my man mr midos he suggested in one of his videos way back this uh, product called blaster and this is some industrial strength silicone lubricant let me tell you this is some good stuff i didn't use any water at all just this silicone spray lubricant sprayed it on all the metal and plastic parts took an old toothbrush scrubbed that baby down got rid of all the dirt and grime and then let it sit outside with an additional spray over everything so that the silicone could dry and soak into the parts so that in the future, any future cleanup should be a breeze. I did the same thing with the entire uh, chassis. Stripped it all down, gave it a good uh, cleaning, then I sanded it with some sandpaper to rough it up a little bit because I decided, you know what, instead of trying to buy a new chassis, which is about 200 some odd dollars, the metal was not bent, not warped, not dinged too hard. So what did I do? I just went ahead and wrapped it. And that's how she looks. In addition to the wrap job on the chassis and the cleanup on the chassis, I had to do the same thing with the body of it. Uh, it was plain black, as you know before, that's how it comes stock. But I wanted to give it a different look and kind of snazz it up a little bit. So I went with uh, two, two parts. Some Rust-Oleum acrylic enamel, two times the coverage, black, automotive grade paint and this paint is good for plastic metal and more it's on the outside if you take a look at this body all the painting on the original from the factory is on the outside it's not through the backside 
it's all external paint. So I just went over it again with the black. Before I started that, I masked off things that I wanted to keep. I masked off the decals for the headlamps, for the uh, front grill side intakes, took the grill off of course, and I did the same for the reverse. So after all that was done, had all the black on, I went ahead and laid down a paint mask and I used a my Silhouette Cameo Cutter to get this flag paint mask decal or stencil. Cut it up, sized it up, applied it to the vehicle. Then I went over the whole vehicle with again some of this Rust-Oleum, two times the coverage, gloss cherry red paint, remove the mask and this is what you're left with. Bam, got a nice flag design. And what I did with uh, this design of the flag in particular is to try to mimic the Mini Z version of this Audi R8 to kind of give it a same look on a larger scale. And I think it turned out pretty good. I like the way I got the mask on there. If you've been following me on Instagram and Facebook, you've seen this already before. Uh, the red is a little different, but it's close enough. So these kind of look almost similar to each other. Once all the paint was done, I decided to add a little detail. So I wrapped the front arrow on the chassis. I wrapped the rear view mirrors. I also wrapped along the edges of the front and the sides of the side seals on the vehicle. And I wrapped the spoiler in the rear. But I'm not done yet. And this is where you come into the mix. All right, as you can see from the overlay that I'm about to put up now, a few things are missing from the internals of this R6. Number one, the servo. I can go ahead and get the stock factory servo and put it in there, but if there's something better, I'd like to use that. Not saying that this is gonna be ran because of the reasons I mentioned before. Parts are difficult to get. Tires are not that hard to get. You can get some adapters for it and run some GRPs on it. I like the stock look, many people don't. So I, what I would like you to do to help me out in this endeavor is in the comments down below, Give me your suggestions or ideas for the powertrain that I should put in this vehicle. I'm uh, leaning towards one right now, but I want to get all of your input. And then I'll put a poll up in the community section of YouTube. I'll probably put a poll up on uh, Instagram and maybe Facebook as well with maybe the top three, four, or five choices coming from you, the subscribers of Jay Sinister Productions, as to the electronics that you think I should put in this low C6. Now again, I'm not going to run this hard at all. This will be strictly for video, photo, and show, so it doesn't have to be anything stupid powerful or stupid expensive. Just something to give it a little life, that's all. That's what I want to do. So again, fam, just to recap real quick, this was just a short, quick video to give you an update on everything I've done to the low C6 R8. Again, here's, that, here's the bottom of the vehicle. I didn't show it before, but maybe you can tell the wrap job that's on there. Got everything cleaned up, replaced a few parts, got some new parts here and there, and this is pretty much the finished final product. The only thing left for me to do, I'm asking for your assistance in the electronics, the heart, the soul that you think I should put in this R6. So again, comment down below with your uh, ideas of what you think would be a nice fit for this vehicle. Again, she's not going to be raced. She's not going to be bashed or beat up. She's going to be strictly for shelf, show, video, and photo or whatever else I may do with it in the future. Get yourself some of this blaster silicone industrial lubricant for cleaning all of your RCs. If you're stripping anything down or if you got a brand new one, you wanna help it stay a little bit cleaner. Pre-spray all your plastic and metal parts first. Don't get this in your electronics or any sensitive areas, of course. And that'll make cleanup easier because the dirt and grime will have uh, a harder time sticking to the surfaces if this silicone is on it. If you'd like to use the same red that I used in this, again, we got some simple old Rust-Oleum acrylic enamel, twice the coverage, gloss cherry red, boom, spray it, she's all done. And of course, I backed everything with some more of this Rust-Oleum acrylic enamel black spray paint. Everything was done in a rattle can, no airbrushing this time. So again, fam, that's it. Real short, real quick, real simple. Remember to comment down below on the power systems, the electronics you think I should put in here, but give me your comments again on the type of electronics you think I should put into this vehicle. So before we go, I got one more thing I want to talk about and then we're going to bounce up out of here. Hold tight. 
All right, fam, in case you may have forgot or maybe you didn't know, the Kraken Vesla 5C1E, the electric version, is still on deck. Have yet to run on a maiden voyage. It's been too cold outside, so I'm not going to go out there and run this where my, you know, my fingers are freezing. I'm about to die from the cold and frostbite. But I just want to remind you there's more stuff coming on deck with that. I've installed some rear hubs on that. I'll do a video talking about that later. It's too simple to do a step-by-step, -step, but I will show you how easy it is. I've also got some more billet aluminum parts coming in for the Vesla, so I'm getting her set up for her first run. And I've also got the recommended LiPo battery for this vehicle. And this is a Kraken branded 14.8 volt 100C discharge, 9,000 milliamp hour. Can I get that in closer so you can see that? Bam, 9,000 milliamp hour LiPo battery. And this does take dose batteries for the vehicle. This is the recommended battery, so it will fit. And it has what I've never used, a set of these XT 150 battery connectors that made up perfectly with the XT 150s on the vehicle. Of course, if you don't like them, you can always change them out. But again, fam, be on the lookout for more videos concerning the crack. All right, fam, that's pretty much it. Quick overview, didn't want to take up too much of your time. Just want to let you see what's been going on with the Low C6, the Audi R8 in both versions, bone stock, Jason is to customize. So again, leave me a comment down below on what you think I should put in this baby. And fam, until the next time, you know who I am. I'm Jay of Jason is to Productions. Exiting stage left. <laughs> now we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. Jason is to Productions. Ha, <laughs> ha,